Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Welcome to morning thoughts this morning, everybody. It's your host with the most. My voice is low. I'm not that loud because, as you can see, it's dark out. I'm at work early this morning. Today they're having a function at work, and I would like to get in and get out as early as possible. All the residents, family members are coming in to see them, exchange of gifts and all these other things. It's a Christmas party, right? So I got to do my therapy, get my therapy sessions in before the Christmas party starts. So therefore, I am up early. All right. Now, big up and bless up to everybody who came out uh, on that live this weekend. That live was epic. If you still haven't seen it, go and see it. It's something for you to see, listen to, and learn a few things or contribute a few things in the comment section. Shout out to all my people going out to work this morning, all my people coming in from work, my people coming in from one job, going out to another job, or getting a little bit of rest in order to go out to another job. The struggle is that. It is that. Me know the life to personally because I did it. Worked two jobs for a number of years, trying to get to a place in life and a position in life where I would only need one job to make ends meet. So I know that journey. Just make sure you take care of your body. Make sure you have a plan, right? Don't be out here working two jobs. I've seen people work two jobs, and they actually work the two jobs just so they can have money to go party and have money to buy, like, a nice car so they can show off or something like that. No, if you're working two jobs, make sure you have a plan so it gets you from two jobs to one job. That way you have more time. Then you can think about all that other stuff. I mean, life is short. Regardless, enjoy it. I don't have much to talk about this morning except for this. This crab in the barrel mentality that black people have, man. Our people, we need to really let it go. And notice I didn't say Jamaicans. I said black people because we are universal. We are all around the world. All up in that space with that. But so is our nasty attitude towards each other. Yes, there are fun-loving, God-hearted black people. God-hearted black people. God-minded, God-body black people. But there are also... More evil than good out there, it seems, right? Listen, Prophet Marcus Mosiah Garvey told us about crabbing a barrel. We don't have to tear each other down in order to rise. I saw something somewhere that said, if, if you have to dim another person's light in order for your light to shine, then you're just not a good person or something like that. But anyways, I don't have to dim my light in order for somebody else to get a shine. And I don't have to dim somebody else's light in order for my light to shine. I don't have to tear my brothers and sisters down in order for me to rise up. You know what I'm saying? And that it seems like that's what it is. I notice a trend on social media like, especially in, now I'm going to talk about Jamaicans. Especially in the Jamaican sector. Where, as far as, as, far as um, feeling the need. To pit people against each other and then sit back and watch. Oh, vloggers are war. Uh, all this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not all of us are a part of that garbage. Yeah? And it's the same thing in real life. People will pit you against each other and then sit back, grab their bag of popcorn, and watch you fight to the death. And then they sit there and, oh, so and so, mush up, so and so, you know. We're spiritual gladiators. We're not friggin' gladiators in flesh and blood. We're not out here doing boxing and karate and all that. I did, uh, I did grappling, kickboxing for 10 years straight. So I can defend myself when it comes to punch kick, punch kick. But I'm not out here trying to fight nobody. You know what I'm saying? Did it because it was a part of what I did and you had to stay fit. And I felt it was something good. To get the body and the mind sharp. But that's about it. Other than that. We're not out here fighting each other man. And I don't want nobody bring that kind of energy to my channel. Please bring it somewhere else. If you're the type. And I don't care if my channel lose views. Or lo it, it will gain. Those, those who come. And stay. Will stay. Those who leave. Will leave regardless. YouTube just did. YouTube is going through a massive overhaul right now, right? Where they're not um, counting the views properly. They're not notifying subscribers. It's been going on for a while. They're, they're, they're missing up. But the main thing that they're doing is they're going through and they're taking off all the fake accounts. They're taking off all the accounts with um, 
that are inactive. They're taking off all the accounts that people don't no longer subscribe to those accounts. All this other stuff. So I woke up there in the morning and I saw like my views changed, reduced by uh, over a thousand overnight. And I thought to myself, first I thought, I said to my wife, I said, babe, you mean to over a thousand people subscribe in less than 24 hours? I don't think so. Something must be wrong. But even if they did, oh well, I guess I'm not saying what they want me to say. But whoever left, they will either come back or there will be better people to replace them. And that's how I look at it. Not only on YouTube, but I look at it the same way in real life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us out here are living our lives. And I, I don't know why I'm saying our, because I don't do it. If my hand them ashy, I'm going to see my hand them ashy. If I put on lotion, then I just did. If I'm in the middle of something, I'm in the middle of something. If I'm not, then I'm not. Right? If I'm on vacation, I'm on vacation. If I'm working, I'm working. If I'm broke, I'm broke. And if I got money, I'm still broke. I don't pretend that I don't pretend to be better than nobody. I don't act like I have a lot. I don't act like I make a lot. I don't act because I'm not into that. Right? I'm into what I can give from here on a daily basis and from here. That's what I'm into. And I encourage people to be the same. You know what I mean? I said, yesterday a Jamaican doctor, female doctor, passed away. She's 35 years old. And she passed away in a car accident in, I believe it's in New York City. She's Jamaican. She went to the University of the West Indies, Mona campus. Then she did a residency overseas, and then she got hired there, and even been there good long enough to become staff, to become um, a part of whatever they had going on there. But anyway, long story short, highly accomplished at 35. Highly accomplished at 35. Far away from home. She wasn't out partying, she wasn't drinking, she wasn't doing nothing. Somebody driving lost control of their vehicle because they probably were intoxicated. I don't know, but that's her life. So like I say to you every day, life is short, and we're all going to the same place. I don't care what mansion you have or how many cars you have on land. I don't care how fancy your clothes is on land. We're all going under the ground one day. All right? I'm going to say it again. None of us escape this alive. You're either going to go there, or if you choose to be cremated, you're going in an urn, or they're going to spread your ashes somewhere. But we all will be gone from here. So, while you're here, make an impact. While you're here, leave a good legacy behind. Because it is your works and your deeds that will outlive you in the flesh. And it's just, it is through that that your spirit will live on. Alright? Well, that and your children. And I got five of those, and I make sure I take care of them very well. Because I'm in a one and grow big and come call me up and beat me. I kick on my walking stick when I bend over and them things. <laughs> anyway, big up on the south people. I'm about to go in here and get my daily bread. It's SoFlow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for listening to my morning ramblings. Lift your head up. Hold your shoulders square and look like Budja Bantan when him walk out of prison. Look like Budja Bantan when the plane land in Jamaica and Budja came through like a lion. Just, just trotting through life, yeah? All right. Bless up. I'm out. Peace. Oh, Vibes Cartel done bleach and gone back to black. Y'all need to see that video. It's on my channel. Peace.